Two players each roll two standard dice. First player A, then player B. Player A wins by rolling a sum of 6, while player B wins by rolling a sum of 7. They take turns back and forth until someone wins. What is the probability that player A wins? First, we must ask, what are the combinations that produce a sum of 6? They are 1 and 5, 2 and 4, 3 and 3, 4 and 2, and lastly 5 and 1. So the probability of getting a sum of 6 is 5 out of 36. Similarly, the probability of getting a sum of 7 is 6 out of 36, or 1 over 6. Player A can win in a number of ways. Firstly, player A can roll a 6 immediately. Or, both players A and B can fail the same number of times, and then player A rolls a 6. Generally, when both players fail k times, and then player A rolls a 6, the probability is given by the following expression. As each of these events are independent, we can therefore add up the probabilities. After some simplifications, we get the final answer of 30 over 61. In the previous problem, we find that the probability that A wins is slightly less than 50%, so the game is not fair. Are there some targets for A and B such that the game is fair? To solve this problem, let PA and PB be the probabilities of players A and B obtaining their sum targets respectively. Then, we can rewrite our previous formulation with a general formula. As we want the game to be fair, we set the probability to be equal to 1 half. This takes us to the equation PB equals to PA over 1 minus PA. To make everything integers for easier calculations, we let PA equal to A over 36 and PB equal to B over 36, where A and B are between 1 and 35. Therefore, we get B equal to 36A over 36 minus A. By factorization, 36 minus A times 36 plus B is equal to 1296. As A and B are bounded, the factors have the following constraints. 36 minus A is between 1 and 35, while 36 plus B is between 37 and 71. As a result, there are only two valid pairs. They correspond to A and B being equal to 9 and 12, or A and B being equal to 12 and 18. We can find many examples of sum targets for both cases. The following shows only one example. So the follow-up question would be, if player A can only have two sum targets, and player B can only have three sum targets, what is the total number of combinations of sum targets such that the game is fair? Check out the answer below.